Hello, Scorpio. Welcome back. It's good to have you back. It's good to be back here, Scorpio. This is a general read, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a reading with Virgo and Mercury. Virgo is all about cleaning up and tidying your communication, okay? Mercury is about how you communicate. This video is for Scorpio Sun and Mercury and Scorpio here, okay? We're going to head straight into prayer. I'd like to take this time to thank the universe for waking us up, putting us to sleep, giving us a second chance, giving us a chance to gain the knowledge that we need to move forward. We'd like to ask the universe for peace, love, balance, and light and love. In Jesus' name, love and light. Amen. Mm, Scorpio, how are you doing? Scorpio, I did pull your spread out of the dream oracle here. And at the bottom of the deck was departed loved ones here. This is the painful truth here. And this also is healing from the painful truth, accepting the communication that comes in, no matter how hurtful it is. I will be pulling you some numerology out of the Ralph deck here. And we'll be getting some little bit of extra advice out of the Jumanji deck. Okay. And some advice out, out of the, the soul, 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 soul woman. I, I did it like that because I feel like you guys have to go back and research. You're doing your research. You're going back and making sure that you didn't make any mistakes here. At the end of the video, Scorpio, Sun and Mercury and Scorpio, if you would like to stay, I am reading out of the soul for women. All right. The overall energy around your communication with Virgo sitting in Mercury here, which with it already sits, is Dr. The doctor is in the building, Scorpio. You are most definitely alone getting yourself together. You could be self-reflecting here as well, uh, Scorpio. Um, your communication, you're most definitely working on your communication. Some of you could be um, expressing the painful truth as well, but most definitely being enlightened, okay? Going back and fixing those mistakes here within your communication, things that you have written down here, the prescriptions that you possibly have had. You're going back and you're reinvesting here. A lot of soul searching here. Some of you are speaking to your doctors here, getting your uh, subscriptions here as well. There's a lot of creativity here, Scorpio. Uh, just a little bit, a lot of everything here. But strong intuition, strong self-reflection here. Heal thyself. You could also have a Virgo around you. Your doctor could be a Virgo. You could be trying to heal your family situations here as well. You're waiting for, for results from the doctor as well. You're waiting to see if what you've done. You're waiting to see the results that come in. You're waiting to see if you can rewrite things here as well. Could be dealing with a Capricorn here or a Sagittarius or a Virgo. Um, you could be dealing with your communication. You could be dealing with your creativity and also how to become a leader here. There's a little bit of a stubbornness here or just wanting to do it your own way. You are questioning authority. So you could be questioning what the doctor is saying to you. And you want to just make sure they got their facts straight. You say, I got what? <laughs> you say, I got who? You say, what's coming? You say, what now? <laughs> okay okay but you're holding it to yourself here you're, like no one around you knows that you're waiting for the results you're not even willing to open up about the results if they come in positive maybe negative you'll open up about that but right now you're just trying to get yourself together here some of you are waiting for the doctor to come back with your medicine here. You're waiting to see if uh, your bills were paid when it came to the doctors here because there is something new here. Some of you are waiting for pregnancy results as well, Scorpio. The mental space when it comes to your communication is school. You're getting yourself together. You're going back and you're reading those books. You're going back and making sure everything is together. Examine your beliefs about, you, about being tested here. Um, yeah, you could be dealing with... You're coming out, but mentally, like you're alone with this, okay? So you're taking this time out to balance out the situation here. What if it comes back positive? What if it comes back negative? What do I do next? And you're doing your research. Mentally, you are schooling life, okay? You 
just want to make sure you're going in the right path here. Make sure you're going around the right people here. You you could be surrounded around a lot of people or you're leaving these people. Okay. Because something will be revealed sooner or later. Or maybe you want to reveal it sooner or later here. But right now, you're just reflecting. You're just reflecting, mentally getting yourself together, mentally making a decision about a partnership, about the results that may come in here as well here. Strong intuition as well. Yep. About an opportunity, Scorpio, Sun and Mercury and Scorpio here. You're waiting to see who you want to work with. You're waiting to see about the results here. You're waiting to see if a third party situation has ended here or your job has ended, but you're being very positive. You're moving positive. You're making, you're speaking positive. Okay. Another thing that I do see here too, as well, you are wanting to go back to school so you can ground yourself a little bit more so you can go out here and you can teach and you can say the right things to people here as well you're almost ready to act on what you know here or uh, tell about the connections of the people that you have been around some of you are sick and you want to tell the people that you've been around like i'm sick so you may want to go to the doctor but there's going to be an opportunity and you're waiting for this opportunity to speak up or to travel Okay, but just to make a decision about what you really want to do about everything here, either about this uh, Capricorn towards Virgo, strong Virgo, strong Capricorn, or the Sagittarius Leo, Aries, strong Sagittarius energy. You could also be dealing, you could also have a Libra on the mind as well, Scorpio. What's on the heart space is computer, okay? Some of you are in school, though. I got to call that. Some of you are in school or college here, and it's online here as well, and you, you are alone. You work better alone here, too, as well. Upgrade your mental software, okay? And you are. You feel like it. You feel like you're becoming someone better. You feel like speaking up about your creativity here. You want to get out this fear here. You're ready to go. Okay? You're ready to upgrade everything. Some of you are even in stores waiting in line. Like, okay, when is my computer going to be ready? <laughs> okay. Some of you are ready to go and see if your computer is fixed here as well. But you feel like gaining more knowledge. You feel like going back to school. You feel like starting over and trying it one more time here. You feel like communicating about this here. You could feel like reaching out and connecting to people as well. Yeah, you're ready to. You're almost ready to, but you are, you're willing to cooperate with whatever the result is. If your computer isn't ready, then you, that's, you're fine, okay? You just have to tell your school that, you know, my computer is still messed up. Um, if the results haven't come in about this pregnancy yet, you're, you're willing to wait on it, but you want to still, you feel like connecting to people. Like even if the re re results haven't come in just yet, you are meditating over it. You're taking your time out to make sure you're going to say the right things here as well. You're making sure you have all your knowledge so you can step out and give it to, give it to, or as well. Yeah. Some of you are ready to connect with your, the mother of your of your children here or just your mother. Some of you are ready to just tell about, speak about this new beginning, about where you want to go, where you want to teach, what school you want to go to as well. Some of you feel like you will have enough as well and you can start this. Some of you feel really connected. Um... To a relationship or a situation or a decision. It's like um, what I feel. You want to go communicate to somebody about this new beginning here. To the mother of your child. Some of you even want to marry the mother of your child. Okay. But some of you feel like speaking up to your mothers here as well. About the results that's come in. Or how worried you are about the results. Some of you uh, could be worried that you got your mother sick or your mother is sick here, but you want to you 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 want to reconnect. You are trying to get your words together, especially with Virgo sitting in Mercury. You want to come off the right way. You want to say the right the right words because your words could be all over the place. What you need to be aware of: be aware of this happiness. Be aware of this party in here. Be aware of celebrating yourself here. Be aware of all these people around you and you're sick. 
be aware that there could be a party coming in. It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. But you getting, you're getting things together here. Be aware of partying too much and you got to get back to school. Be aware. A lot of people know about the connections as well. Be aware of daydreaming and not putting the work behind your words. This is telling people that you did finish the paper when you really didn't. And it could be as simple because your computer was broken. But now you got to go back and tell people like, okay, I thought my computer was going to be ready by the time I was going to finish the paper. But oops. You need to open up about how you feel. You need to open up, up to family here about how you feel and what you want to say because you do have something to express and if this is not you Scorpio then someone wants to speak up about leaving a situation or not having the finances to pay for the computer not having the finances to pay to stay here not having the finances to pay for school or someone wants to open up about abandoning the situation and they feel pretty good about it they're ready to open up about it. Like, I left. I don't go there anymore. Okay. Some of you want to open up about how you got here. You just want to tell your story. But you want to tell it in the right way. Because you know an opportunity will come in right after. You don't want someone to leave here as well you don't want to disconnect from anybody you would rather connect and come together you don't want to let something go yeah a lot of you are ready to come out get out of the hospital too as well a lot of you are waiting for the results so you can go back home yep yep so you can get back home on the other note some of you have found out that you're sick and you don't want to tell anybody. Some of you are blocking out all these people. Some of you are even blocking out your excitement. It's like if you found out that you were pregnant, the results, the results are coming in for anything. And you may not want to tell anybody. I said that earlier, didn't I? Yeah, you don't really want to tell if it's good news or if it's bad news. You just want to keep it to yourself. You could have a Taurus, a Libra on the heart space here as well, or an Aquarius. Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus, Aquarius. Yeah. Some of you want to leave the family here as well and you want to open up about it. Most likely outcome for you because there is a cycle ending here. It's not ended yet, but once you speak up and you express yourself and you say what you truly want to say, then that cycle will close out the way that you need to, okay? You're not responsible for how they feel about what you say, but you are responsible for how it comes out and how you take the information. The most likely outcome for you, Scorpio, sun here is food and eating here. Be mindful of the thoughts you are ingesting here. Don't speak negative. It's time to drop the burdens here and go towards success, regardless if you're sick or not. It's time to just feel better, period. You know, that can be a medicine. Feeling good. Positive thoughts. Positive speaking. That can heal. Did you know uh, letting go, releasing, is a form of healing cancer? Letting go. Letting go of something that you're holding on to can cure cancer. Oh, yeah. You feel differently about a family situation. You feel differently about uh, like it's just basically telling your telling your girl, telling your husband, telling your wife, telling your children that you know you're sick. Or you started something else and you want to go somewhere else. You most definitely want to abandon the situation or not even tell people. Don't just get up and leave, though, Scorpio. Can we do it the right way? Okay. There is an opportunity here. There's going to be an opportunity to celebrate and to be yourself and to speak up. 
Just don't block out your happiness. Don't block out how you feel either. Be aware of that. Strong Taurus energy here. Some of you are doing research on the foods that you can eat to heal yourself as well or to nourish the child. The tower card here. Scorpio sun, at the end of the day, right? People know, or people are going to find out. The world could find out. Everyone could find out. If you were holding things to yourself, it is going to be revealed, okay? And if you were looking for the right foods to eat, you're going to find out that you were eating something that was actually making you sick or someone was making you sick. Yeah, we have Aries and we have uh, Sagittarius energy here too. You're very determined to be creative or very determined to just block out, but something is going to come out. It's going to, it has to be destroyed. Something that you felt really independent about, something that you were so for sure about, the truth is going to come out about it because it was faulty. There were, there were things that were being built around this communication, around this school, around this computer. It's like a crash in it. It's a bug here. And some of you are just, just want to be alone. I just want to be alone. I just want to be alone. Um, I forget that song. Yep, losing sleep and so worried. So very, very worried about something that you have created. You could feel like it's being taken away from you as well here. It's conflicting. It's like doing things double. It's like you're trying to find yourself, but then you're trying to help everybody else find themselves. And that that's hard. And you want to come out and tell people like, okay, I have work to do, or I have to do this. I have to get this done. I have to, you know, it's like that kind of energy. But there is a breakthrough coming for sure. Yeah. And it's almost over. It's almost over. Or this is coming out fat sooner than you think. If you were worried, the worry is over now. It's over now. I feel like I can make it. The storm is over now. Can you help me sing? Dear God, can we get some numerology for Scorpio? Scorpio, you could be really stubborn right now. You could be not wanting to share, not wanting to open up, not wanting to do what anybody else wants to do. You just want to do it your way and your way only. You don't care what anybody says. You don't care what you found that on the internet. You don't care what these teachers or these doctors say. You know what you want to do. This is kind of stressing you out. People could be joking about it here. And it ain't nothing to play with with you. But you're mentally trying to stay positive on your heart space. You're trying to cooperate. You're trying to say the right things here. You want to let go of the baggage here as well. But you're kind of keeping to yourself until the results come in about anything. You could be dealing with uh, two different, three different women as well. One of them could be your mother. One of them could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The other one could be a Capricorn or a Virgo. Your mother could either be or this woman that resembles um, your your mother or had like this motherly energy because there is a mother here. OK, there is a pregnancy here. Someone is pregnant, but they're far along now. Like you can see it. <laughs> what? So how are you trying to hide it?
someone could lose the pregnancy as well. Someone could lose the baby. And I think you're around like eight, what? Eight, nine months? I apologize. You're stressing out though, uh, Scorpio son, about what you truly want here, about what makes you happy here, um, about cycles ending here, something that you could possibly have been holding really tight to or just waiting for the results to come in about it here. Yeah, it could be causing you some sadness due to the change. And you, you don't know where to go anymore. If you're not really sad due to something negative that happened, you're smiling inside, but you are acting sad. <laughs> you're kind of content if you're not really sad. You're just like, mm, well, I saw that coming. Even with the computer in school, you're like, I just knew that was going to happen. I knew the computer wasn't going to be ready. I mean, some of you are even content about being sick. You're like, I knew it. I wasn't stressed. Beware of ants. There could be an infestation here. Um, and I feel like that's, the ants been coming out in almost everybody's reading. Wow. There is teamwork here. There's people that can help you as well. Just be aware of the ant infestation here. Yeah. Somebody's watching you, Scorpio. The doctor even could be calling soon to give you these results here, and it could just come out of nowhere here. It could be coming, the information could come while you're partying or with all these people, and then it's like, boom, dang, I'm sick. I got to tell all these people I'm sick. Because there's a change here, but there's a change in communication. There's a change in your clarity. You see clear now. You can speak clear now, okay? But cycles are ending. The door is about to close. OK, whether you're ready for that or not. A hunter from the darkest wow makes you feel just like a child. Somebody coming in with them results, baby. Like I said, either way, you, you know, you knew. You just was waiting. Dear God, what's the spiritual advice for Scorpio? Son. There's an opportunity here to communicate. Don't block it out. And be aware somebody does not want the family. Somebody wants to leave the family, okay? Be aware a family member could be coming back and asking for help too. Somebody that you did block out. They could have broken their foot. Or just struggling with walking. Earlier I was watching a video. I can't remember who the lady was. But. Um, it was kind of funny. Because she was teaching people. How to shuffle cards. And I was like. What? There's really a video for this? Anyway. I asked God. Like, I was like why am I watching this? And like. A little bit later or the video that was under it anyway it was about things happening to you things happening in a karmic way things happening for twin flames and soulmates and stuff like that and one thing that she said in there she was like it's like you're walking down uh, the street or whatever I can't remember what she said but she was like um and your soulmate or this karmic that's in your life or this twin flame I don't necessarily think she said twin flame, though. She was speaking about twin flames, but she, I don't think she put a twin flame in the situation. But she was like, uh, when you pass, you know, and you come back, you get that second chance. But your soul it ha has been, you know, it's been going on and on. You're just in a new vessel. True fact. But you're just in a new vessel. And that's why you kind of can approach people. And you already don't like them. You can already sense things about them. It could come from your past life. It can come from you already knowing them and somebody did something wrong to you in the past life. And that's why you really you can't click with them like that. And and what I see here is like that kind of happened. Um, she, she did like the, <laughs> she was like you in the wrong place at the wrong time. But it was really the right place at the right time. 
and your karmic or your soulmate came and shot you in a leg or broke your leg. It was some karma that had to be balanced, but everything happens for a reason. So you had to break your legs so you could become this beautiful person or you could tell your story and everybody, you could be the advocate for whatever happened, you know, it's stuff like that. That made me sad. Considering that I had a situation like that before, I almost lost my ability to walk due to a person in my life. And that was deep. But to hear that story in that perspective, it still was deep to me. But it's just like, and I already live by that everything happens for a reason. Everything does happen for a reason. But I had some emotions towards that thing. <laughs> anyway. You are most definitely going back and clearing things up for yourself. You have boundaries. Right? You're centering yourself. You are taking a lot of a long time. Some of you are partying, but you are planning on leaving the party. You don't feel like you don't plan on staying the whole time. You possibly could not even plan on staying in school the, the whole time. Some of you are just there for the finances um, or the opportunity to speak here. My clear boundaries allow me to protect myself, nurture my intentions, and follow my true self. Some of you are very forgetful as well. I can relate to that. But some of you are very forgetful, forgetting where you put things, forgetting where you need to go, forgetting things like that. The red moon is very important. I don't think that we have one this year, do we? Look, you doing your research, though. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with it, baby. But you're making sure you have everything together. You're cleaning up communication. You're doing more research. You're reaching out to the people that you care about. You're nurturing yourself as well. You're trying to stay in a, I say get out of the daydream. But if daydream is, is what's helping you self-reflect, then do that. Scorpio Sun, I am reading later. If you would like to stay, I would love for you to stay. If not, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more insight. I would love to help. You can also join the Facebook family. It's growing. Or you can come on testimonies and get some inspiration there as well. It's on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook. All right, most likely outcome for you, Mercury and Scorpio, is clarity, but it's guide. This is truth. Communication coming in for sure. Follow, follow in the footsteps of greatness here. You are being guided with your communication. I always say, once you pray, don't worry about what comes out of your mouth. And my grandmother just had to remind me that the other day. Did you pray? Yep. Well, then why are you worried about it? Okay, you pray, you pray. Thank you for the bubble. You know, thank you for pulling me right back up, Grandma. Thank you. I know she doesn't watch the videos, so. But if you do catch it, Grandma, hey, boo. Anyway, you are most definitely being guided. Your communication is being guided. God comes down to guide you. Your angels, God sends your angels to come down to guide you. I was like, God ain't getting off that throne, baby. <laughs> ain't no need to. That's what he got workers for but um, you will be guided out of this fear. You will be guided to what to say. You will be guided to the right information, the right research here, okay? You will be guided how to open up to the to these women, to these people here. You will be guided. There's communication coming in. I see that this guidance coming in while you're meditating, while you're taking this time out for yourself to clear your mind here and get your crown chakra together here because there's really no movement and you don't feel like moving, okay? I don't see you going anywhere to talk to anybody, but I see everybody coming to you to talk to you here. But I do see that you want to be alone, period. You got to get your... I gotta get myself together because I got some place to go. And I know when I get there, I'll see everyone. I know I wanna go to heaven. 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 I know that's right, Scorpio, Mercury and Scorpio. 
You're getting your words together. You're getting yourself together. You're getting your communication together. You're ending cycles that don't mean you well. And I'm, I'm telling you, God is coming in to redirect, especially if you asked him for it. You are most definitely closing out these cycles here. You're taking that time to meditate and get yourself together and just blocking out everything else. If you need to get back to work and get and finish this paper, even if you have to write it because your computer is shut down, because you need this money, you need to be able to speak in front of all these people or whatever. What? But you are most definitely making a choice, a decision about who you want to pursue within these three women or about school here, about your teacher, about this pregnancy here as well. Or just about how you feel. You're making a decision towards a relationship and this is where this contemplation, this mental conflict is coming from. Even though I really don't see the mental conflict, I just see you making the decision. You made up your mind. You want to go to heaven. You want to go to what makes you feel good. You want to go to this party. You, you want to go back to this school. But there's some confusion. So that's why you are taking, at the end of the day, you will be taking that time to meditate, to know what you want to cut out, to know how to be a better person in the relationship, to know how to be a better student when it comes to what you want to create here. Because some of you want to design something passionate. Yeah. It could be towards a third party situation or just a celebration here. There is three women. You could possibly want to end things, though. But you need to just get your communication together because you could have made a decision. What? Why is this reading all over the place? And there's the emperor. Yes, there is a relationship here. <laughs> like a Bonnie and Clyde type. Please, Lord. What is the numerology advice? Dear God, what's the numerology advice for Mercury and Scorpio? It's just all over the place. Like, you could be dealing with a whole bunch of stuff. School, party, finances, communication, emotions, relationships. Sheesh. I mean, that is life. But at the same time, you know what you want. You really do. You know what you want to do. What else is kind of strange has been happening to me? I listen to all type of music, all type of different music. But the music that has been coming through lately, the ones that I can remember the lyrics to is gospel music. But I like all music. I just wrote a song the other day. Today. I just wrote a song today. And it's beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to put it out. <laughs> I don't need them issues. There you go. There's clarity, there's guidance here. At the end of the day, you will be guided to where you need to go. And everybody ain't gonna like it with your stinking feet. But everybody ain't gonna like it. But that's okay. If God told you what to do, then you gotta get yourself together because you got somewhere to go. Ooh. Yeah, um, yeah. There could be a pregnancy here. You most definitely could be dealing with the Capricorn, Sagittarius. I mean, that came right back out. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Gemini. But you're communicating to these people. Because you are creating, baby. You know what you want, though. At the end of the day, you are going to know what you want here. You're going to block out the things that you don't want here. Don't be petty. And don't lie. <laughs> I heard, I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> 
bottom of the deck is the six of pentacles here the number six yeah you need to get it together strong very 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 strong capricorn here there could be some um clarity coming in about a capricorn or capricorn is about to reach out to you and give you some communication here but there's a need to accept the painful truth here as well a celebration could be over here as well Don't take too much time. Look at that. Fearless self-love. You know what you want. You just got to speak up about it. You dig it to court. The first one is uniquely myself. You are changing. Some of you are changing your hair, changing the way you think. She is beautiful. Changing the way you think here, changing your lip color here, changing your earrings. You're getting really pretty because you got somewhere to go. Okay. I trust that who I am is perfect for my unique journey and soul path. Look at it. She like, mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Cheney opening her mouth. It's just a mm hmm. Like, and this is what I'm hearing. Like, it's like, are you pregnant? Mm hmm. You been, you, you, you pregnant, pregnant. Mm hmm. You about like eight, nine months? Mm hmm. You ain't gonna tell nobody? Mm hmm. <laughs> you look good. Mm hmm. Not even a thank you. Mm hmm. You are on a spiritual journey here, loving from the inside. It's a blessing to give myself the gift of my own presence here. You like being alone. You like expressing yourself to yourself. You like going to places that make you happy. You can honestly party alone. You really don't need anybody to party with from what I see. Sometimes, for what I see here, sometimes when people come around you, it kind of irritates you. Like I was listening to that. I didn't need y'all to come here. I was taking this time out for myself. This is what you are probably going to communicate as well. You don't got nothing to say to anybody but the person that you choose. You don't feel obligated to anybody but this child or the person that you choose. And that's how you feel. Period. Did I pull you a Jumanji deck? I didn't. I told you a little. You just a little bit all over the place. A little bit though. You got a lot going on. You got a lot of options here, or this Capricorn does, and that kind of bothers you. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's like, is it my baby? Mhm. Mm Were you gonna tell me? Mhm. Mm That is just deep. And I know when I get there, I'll see everyone I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheetah. This person could like to laugh and have fun here, but be aware of a cheetah, okay? Be aware of uh, people coming in to take from you. Be aware that people are trying to sniff out this information here as well. Be aware of, <laughs> yeah, people could be after. There could be like a lot of chitter chatter. Let's, hold on, one second, because I get two different I think I was speaking to spirit when I said, hold on. Okay. So don't take that in offense. Trust your intuition. Okay. Trust your intuition about how to communicate. Make sure you pray before you speak here so God can help you. Make sure you are sober when you're speaking to this person here as well here because this person could take you as a joke. This person could 
possibly or this doctor could possibly feel like you're not going to take this information in the way that you need to that you're going to just block it and not tell people here as well the school doesn't feel like that you are being honest about it here the, this person doesn't feel like you're being honest be and this is a general message so please take what resonates this could be how you feel about everybody else, about these situations here, about these three women, about this celebration. That's probably why you want to abandon the situation, but make sure there's clarity and communication before you walk out of any situation, Mercury and Scorpio, okay? And on the flip side, this person, you can laugh with this person all day long. Like, you two have a ball together. And intuition led you two together. And I will say, no, I don't think she was going to tell you that she was pregnant. No. Especially if she's a Capricorn. Capricorns like to keep things to themselves. They like to laugh, but they're not your friends. If you take them lightly, it will be your end. Yeah, a lot of people coming in to communicate. She's... A lot of people could be coming in to communicate. A lot of people have a lot to say here, but you two know what's going on. That's what I feel. You two people know what's going on. You're really sneaky about it. And you know that everybody else ain't got, don't, don't have a say so in this. So there's really no need to tell anybody anything. That's how you feel here when it comes to your communication. You don't need to talk to anybody, but this person that you're involved with. And you will be cutting out the extra baggage. The painful truth is somebody was not going to come and communicate with you. And that's kind of hard to accept. The flow of partnerships. You are on a spiritual journey, Scorpio. I am connected to myself and to the cosmos. Even as relationships enter or leave my life, I am grateful for these gifts of connection and engagement. Wherever and whenever they occur, I feel at peace with this process. At times, my path takes me into relationship. At other times, I'm called to gently release relationship and and be on my own. Excuse me. As I journey forward, when I feel called to be in a partnership, I relax into the process, knowing that I will attract the perfect partnership for me. I open. I am open to the flow of life. I follow my unfolding journey with radical faith and courage, knowing that I am always connected to the life pulse of the universe and that the right people come into my life at the right time. The ebb and flow of relationship takes me where I need to be next on my path. I told you. Get out of the fear though. I mean, I don't really, I don't really see fear. I got to end this video. I don't really see fear. I see that if you did have some fear, it's like the root of it. Like, I mean, that is your base chakra, but it's like, you know, you just don't want to move right now. You know, you don't really know what to do about the information that you found out. And now that the person is coming to you and just giving you a, mm -hmm, it's like, okay, what do I do next type of thing? Have a beautiful day or night, Scorpio, sun or Mercury and Scorpio. I wish you all love and light and balance and truth and clarity within this. Um, I wish the person would come back and tell you on their own. Have a beautiful day. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more insight. I would love to help.